Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back once again with Race the Sun in the newly unlocked Apocalypse Mode. Apocalypse Mode takes all the things you enjoyed and loved about the original mode and made it ten times as difficult! Oh my god, this mode can destroy you in seconds! And it does. A lot. Apocalypse Mode is unlocked by reaching level 11 in Normal Mode. Oh boy! And there are a lot of walls that will come down on your face. You can do all the same things you can in normal mode, like be able to jump and speed up, and you are still racing against the sun. Meanwhile, everything ever is trying to crush you, and the heavens themselves are raining fireballs. It's hard. It's, it's difficult. It's not as easy. And it is, in fact, apocalypse mode. It kind of speaks for itself, I suppose. I'm going to try a few runs to see how far I can get, to see what kind of score I can reach. And, um, oh! 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 oh. Now that's just evil. That's just mean. That isn't even. And you can unlock the achievements as well in this mode. Don't think I'll be doing that. Since the original video I made on this, there's been a few little updates. Like, for example, the ship seems to be able to get to level 25 now, which is... I don't even... Like, what kind of things am I going to unlock? Oh, whoa! Look at all those things! Oh my god. I don't even know how you get in there! Ah. I'm not very good at this, am I? You also might be noticing some uh, new particle effects. Make the game look all fancy fancy. Not that we need it now that Apocalypse Mode has come about and been like, Ooh, look at my orange! It's gonna kill you! It's a lovely, lovely colour. And a lovely thing to see as you perish. The sunset. Oh, oh god. Or not anymore, just white and death. Okay. Alright, fine, Apocalypse Mode. Do what you want, I don't mind. Uh, let's have a look at my ship configuration. Maybe I can see something that'll help me out. Ah. Uh. Battery allows you to survive slowly, lo slightly longer in a shadow. Okay, fine. That might actually be pretty useful because I don't think that the magnet is really that useful. I guess it can get well. I had that coming to me, didn't I? <sighs> and you know what else is coming? Something for you, lovely listeners or viewers or whatever you want to call yourselves. I have in my possession ten codes available for you to be able to get your hands on Race the Sun. And you can join in my pain playing Apocalypse Mode, when you get to level 11, of course. If Race the Sun interests you, then all you need to do is leave a comment in this video. A like would be appreciated too, but it isn't necessary to win. If, however, you just want to comment and not be entered into the prize draw, I will state that there is something I want you to say in the comment. At some point in your comment, I want you to use the word Apocalypse. Now, it can be weaved into the comment, or it can just be an added word at the very end. To be honest, I think the word at the end would probably be a lot easier to notice. I'll be making the draw on Tuesday, because we do need to try and redeem these codes before the 18th. I'll be giving five away from the comments of this video, and five more away from the comments of the Mega Monday tomorrow. I will also edit the description of this video as well as post a comment on this video to tell you when the winners have been drawn and when I have contacted them. So if you didn't receive any YouTube personal message from me, unfortunately you didn't win and I apologise. So keep an eye out on your mailboxes on Tuesday. Because if you're the lucky person I choose, you could be playing Race the Sun. Just a quick reminder, the codes should be used before the 18th of this month. Of course, if you're not interested in having the full game, or don't know if you want to bother with the competition, there is also a beta available to try out yourself. And as per usual, I'll link where to get to that beta in the description below. Now that all the important stuff is out of the way, I'm going to continue trying a few of these runs to see how far I can actually get. I imagine what I wouldn't mind doing is when the game finally launches, do a little bit of a high score competition thing I think, and I imagine Apocalypse Mode would probably be something I use to do that because it's a lot quicker and a lot more, well you die a lot quicker anyway, that's that's kind of, that would end very quickly and I wouldn't have, you wouldn't have to do long drawn out stuff like that, you wouldn't have to do long drawn out videos because, you know, it would, you'd, you'd Unless you're really good at it, I guess. <laughs> if you're really good at Apocalypse Mode, more power to you. But, um, 
I'm not good. So you'll probably beat me pretty easily. Not that I'm really one to compete in these kind of things, because I've never been too great in high score stuff, but I, I like to dabble in it. Really want to know an effective way of getting in there and getting all the, the power-up things. A triss, I think they call them. So, oh man, I'm hitting everything. <laughs> At least I'm not dead. I might as well be. The sun's going down really quickly. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Is there a speed up somewhere? Could use one of those right about now. Ow. Hey, here we go. I suppose that'll do for the time being. God, I need another. Ow, ow. Oh, ricocheted. All right, I'm, I'm done, actually. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video of Racer Sun. I hope you enjoy it if you uh, win it. And do leave a comment if you are interested in uh, a chance to win this. And I'll see you on the next video. Okay, thanks. Bye.